Why hello everybody, it is Bear 58 here, sorry if the lighting is a bit whack, uh, let me try to, yeah, yeah, I guess, if you guys are okay with that, then I'm okay with that, that looks a little funny than me, oh, you gotta love lighting issues, right? A few moments later. Alright, looks like I got something somewhat figured out, but um, Hello! <laughs> Hope you guys are well. Um, I'm going to consider this, this another Honey Pot update, another vlog. <sighs> Why do I always keep saying ums? I feel like ums are always a part of my videos. But, um, <sighs> damn it. Hope you guys are well, like I already said. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content, like the Hellblade and Kingdom Hearts. Sorry if it's been lackluster. I've been trying, I promise you. There's videos that I need to get edited and put up and recorded and stuff like that. You know the drill. I'm just going to say for now, until things, I guess, get more solid, I should say. Not that they aren't already, but, you know, life happens. That you guys will be getting videos weekly. I promise you. You guys will be getting videos during the week and everything. However, whether it's going to be uh, one to two right away, or one on Monday, one on Thursday, one on Saturday. It all is just going to depend, alright? But you guys will be getting videos during the week, I promise. I will, if you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, you guys will always be notified when I upload a video. Especially if you subscribe to me and you hit the bell, please don't forget to do that. However, there's a reason that I'm making this video, and it is to talk about a little bit about my anniversary. Um, for those that don't know who are, part, who are, are subscribed and are part of the channel, my wife and I had have had our, have just had our two-year anniversary it's been such a great journey the first year is always the hardest like they always say there's always those arguments and everything but it always goes to show how much you love that person how much you care about that person no matter what's going on with them whether oh hello guys guys got ashen 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 you're in my video get go on Go on. Okay. All right. Now, it just goes to show how much you can care for a person with and realize that the reasons you fall in love with them are still there. Now, we did some amazing and fun things. We, since we had the anniversary on that Thursday, we went and we went on a trip for the weekend. And I'm going to be making another video of this, but you guys are going to be actually seeing it on a different channel. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that later, maybe in another different video when it's up. But stay tuned for that. I'll talk more about this one location, but I will bring it up in this video a little bit. And I'll give them such, such a great shout out in here too. But we'll go into more detail and everything in the different video. I will be showing a couple pictures in this one too, you guys, I'll let you know when you'll see them, maybe at the end. But um, we went to this cool place on, I think, Saturday, the second day we went there. Before I continue, the weather, yes, there was snow, but it wasn't excessively bad like they were saying for us. And on the continue, we went to this cool place in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, called Eau Claire Games and Arcade. Now, this place has pinball machines, arcade machines. Um, a racing simulator, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, all this cool, amazing retro stuff that just took me back to my childhood. They even had food and stuff you can get. It was amazing, incredible. And the owner is amazing. You guys, you guys have to go there and shake his hand. And he is such a great guy. Sadly, I can't remember his name right now. Event, I will remember it, hopefully, and I will add it in when I edit it in into the picture when I show it with me and him. But he is such a great guy, and the person that was running the concessions, you are an awesome, awesome concessions guy. You knew a lot about great games. I didn't talk with you much. I wish I could have. You seemed like a very nice guy, and you threw off a very good vibe. But this, thing, this place had everything us gamers grew up with. You could even purchase Super Nintendos, Nintendo 64s, um, PlayStation 1s, PlayStation 1 Slim. I mean, it's, the, the possibilities are endless. You can rent out the place for birthday parties. It was such a fantastic time. 
Now, like I said, I'm only going to be showing a couple pictures in this video. There's another video that I'm currently working on that will be for a different channel, and I will be talking about that in a different video. All right, that's all I can say. Now, what is going to be happening here soon is I'm going to be doing a charity stream. You probably already remember me talking about it in the last video, but I'm going to be doing a charity stream where I'm going to be raising money for an organization called One Shake Is All It Takes. Hold on. Girls? Shower curtain. They always like playing with the shower curtain, you know. Um, they're an organization that helps out families who are victims of shaken baby syndrome. And the, the people that have been shaken, or the babies in usual cases, suffer severe brain damage and severe long-term development. This really hit me when I heard about a local family around here that goes by the name, the last name Tyson's and their kid's name is Miles. You probably heard it, hashtag justice for Miles. Um, he was violently shaken and as soon as I heard about them, my wife and I met up with the family. I got the kids together from Ronald McDonald House, charities in the Twin Cities. We played Minecraft. We didn't raise too much money for them. We raised, I think it was a little below 20 bucks. It wasn't much, but it was a lot of fun. We all had a great time, and the family really appreciated it. Now, I really want to give back to this amazing organiza organization, and I want to do more charity events this year. Th th this year, not just for them, but for other organizations around, especially for a hospital that used to be known as Amplatz Children's Hospital. Now I believe it's known as University of Minnesota Children's Hospital in Minneapolis, St. Paul area on the U of M campus. They, those doctors helped my brother or helped get rid of the cancer that was in my brother. He had Hodgkin's lymphoma level four. I really want to help raise money to give back to them, help raise money for them. And maybe even, if possible, helps use some of the money to get them Xbox adapter controllers. So kids that are disabled and whatnot can be able to play these games if they are immobile. Now, if, I don't know if I have anything too much to talk about other than the fact that when I last checked, which is almost basically every day, because I always like staying posted and updated with comments and stuff, is that I am at, right now at about 93 subscribers. Um, for the guy, for some of you guys that don't know who didn't watch my last video, um, when, with 94, 90, no, 93, 93. When I hit 100 subs, every 25 subs, I always do something a little crazy. Now, when I hit 75 subs, I got myself a shock collar. I literally electrocuted myself with a shock collar. Um, not on the neck, it was in the back of the arm here, and my wife had the remote control to shock me. My friend Cooper and I were supposed to be going in the circle, and uh, every time we were supposed to pass, we were supposed to get these delicious cho homemade chocolate truffles in my life. However, that wasn't the case. No, we never made it pass. We were playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, Transit Mode. We were supposed to make it a full pass and we'd get a chocolate shuffle. But however, every time that I was completely knocked down and had to be revived, I got zapped. Or every time I started getting the red, red strawberry jelly around before you fall down, I get a warning vibration to let me know I'm going to get shocked. However, my friend didn't have a shock collar, so he didn't get any of the punishment. I did. And to be honest, it was actually a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun, and I would really like to share with you guys what is going to happen when I hit 100 subscribers. I am going to be doing a challenge that I would like to call the, the hot, no, the fire and ice dress up challenge. Now, during this challenge, here is what is going, what is going to be happening. My wife is going to be making a homemade chocolate truffles. However, you girls really need to get some personal space. Down, 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 down. Anyway, want 
one half of it is going to be normal. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be amazing. And the other half? Infused with Carolina Reaper pepper powder. Now, these are grown by my father in Iowa in his garden. He dried them up. Hold on. Sorry about that. Stupid cats were just being annoying. Now, I'm gonna just start over, alright? You guys don't mind? Alright, give me a second. Alright, retake, retake. Now, the goal is half is gonna be normal, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be delicious, and then the other half is gonna be hot and spicy and infused with Carolina Reaper pepper powder or ground, dry Carolina Reaper, you know, ground it up, and we're gonna infuse it with the chocolate, and it's gonna be interesting. Now, how it's gonna happen is, I'm gonna be dressing up in a dress. And for you guys that don't know, I have really, really long hair, as you guys can see. I like long hair. I'm an 80s guy, what can I say? And for every time, and it's gonna be put up in a ponytail, in a pigtails, like see, 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 see how, see, see how, how is this gonna look? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, think about how this will look. <laughs> this a pie, not look, not looking like this, like this pitiful mess I am, but wearing a dress that my wife will be picking, but it has, or we will be both picking together. We will find a cool, either gaming related dress or something we have here. We will dress myself up, and I'll be wearing that, and then I'm going to be answering trivia questions, and I haven't decided if guys are going to be coming up with the questions, or if we're going to be just finding an entire list of questions that, or she's going to find an entire list of questions that are going to be gaming related that I have to figure out, and they're going to be games that I've played on my channel. Hi. Now, for everyone that I get wrong, I get a dump a bucket of ice water on me. So it's basically mixing the hot, hot spicy chocolate challenge with, uh, the ice bucket challenge and all that jazz so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be great and it's gonna happen when i hit a hundred subscribers so if you guys like my content and if you guys want to see that and are interested go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to be notified now i believe that's all i got to tell you and share with you so please don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram down below Check out those Humble Bundles as well for cool bundles to games or programs that you guys would like. And check out my friend the Homey RJ. He has great music, great Let's Plays. Go give him a shout out. Go give him a like. Let him know that I sent them your way. And as always, this is Tori Bear 58 I hope you guys have a great day, weekend, night, holiday, birthday, whenever you're watching this. Oodles. Oodles.
Let's go. Let's go. Always keep it real, that's on my mama. Probably just a soul, that's on my father. Now I'm so cold, but I ain't a monster. Just wanna make music chill like a roster. Always keep it real, that's on my mama. Probably just a soul, that's on my father. Now I'm so cold, but I ain't a monster. Just wanna make music.